Just three days after the Las Vegas shooting, I uploaded this video to YouTube. It's titled Las Vegas Shooter at Mandalay Bay Hotel, part of FBI undercover sting operation that went bad. And in that video, I go into great detail of everything that happened involving this Las Vegas shooting. That video, of you, as you can see, has over 617,000 views now. I'm not going to go into the details of that, but it's all very accurate. I explain all of it in the video. Uh, at one point, YouTube took it down and gave me a violation in regards to um, bullying, which wasn't true. So I appealed it, and I won the appeal, and they put the video back up. And the reason they did this is simply because they didn't want uh, this information to be exposed to the public, and they probably took heat from the United States government and the FBI. But uh, I have all this information. I revealed it to you. That video is up now. You can go see it if you want to. Like I said, I'm not going to go into great detail about that. You should already know about that. But what I want to talk about tonight is um, it now looks like confirmed information has come out. 30 FBI agents checked into Mandalay Hotel one to two days before the Las Vegas shooting. And this, of course, goes along right with what I said because, you know, I talk about it. It's, um, Paddock working for the FBI, um, and it was a uh, gun, FBI undercover gun sting operation that went bad. That's why he had all these guns, like 23 guns with him, because they were trying to catch people involved in terrorism and trace down where they're located and what they're trying to do and find information. But it all went bad when uh, they got word of what was going on they took Paddock hostage and so the FBI was in other rooms they couldn't just break in and go after me would have gotten killed and it went bad and a terrorist act was committed and at that point the FBI the US government could not expose what happened because it would be a huge embarrassment just a whole lot of problems so but if you want to see that video of course I go into more detail about that there now I also want to mention that a few days after I exposed this, um, WikiLeaks and also Anonymous came out and verified what I said a few days after I already revealed the information, verified that what I said was true. Of course, Anonymous broke into the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department email. That's how they confirmed it. But this is what's interesting tonight. This evidence is uh, surfacing in regards to verification that FBI agents were in that hotel about two days prior to when the shooting took place, and there's quite a number of them. This report here says, now we know why the FBI has implemented the most transparent cover-up in the history of American mass shooting. There are specific reasons why the FBI has led the cover-up of the Las Vegas mass shooting. Not only was the Bureau well aware of Stephen Paddock's activity as an arms dealer well before the massacre, they knew this hotel room was transformed into a virtual armory. That doesn't mean that Paddock had anything to do with the mass murder. He didn't. Paddock was set up as a patsy. He knew absolutely nothing about the false flag psyop carried out in the harvest, uh, the harvest on October 1st, 2017. What follows is perhaps the most radi radioactive breakthrough thus far regarding the Mandalay Bay Massacre. Unfortunately, the uh, breakthrough in this case was not disclosed by the FBI. That's because it's about the FBI's direct involvement in the biggest mass shoot in the U.S. history. Now, that's just support that they're giving in regards to this as this information is leaked. Of course, I've given you the exact details of it. Uh, this may vary a little bit from what I told you, but the, you know the important part is at this point what's happening is this information is surfacing. Somebody has leaked this out from the FBI. Someone got pissed about the latest remote control car murder of two Vegas witnesses, compliments of the FBI and docs the FBI. As a result of the docs, someone at the Intel Hub was able to confirm that 30 of these agents checked into the Mandalay Bay Hotel. Now, this is about this two days before it happens. Here you can see where people are talking about it, and they're saying bump, bump, you know, because this is a big deal here. This is a big one right here. This is exposing... Uh, detail and information of exactly what I told you. This supports the evidence that I informed you of. And here's some of the list here. Just a screenshot of that. Um, I'm putting the links in the description area of this video. So you can go to the description area of this video and you can see these links. But I want to note that 
at the bottom portion of this particular one here, there's some links. And you're going to click on that and you're going to see some stuff, some stuff you may not want to see, you may want to see. But just be careful what you do with that and, uh, and be careful, you know, with that information because um, I don't know what will happen. <laughs> but I'm able to do what I'm doing, but just be careful. And that's going to be at the bottom of that one right there. You see that gray page right there with the list of um, FBI agents. But you can see the full list and the links if you want to go to that. Uh, here's just another picture here, screenshot in regards to uh, what I've told you. This came out after I'd already reported it to you, but this is on one of the sites also. All right, so yeah, big, big, big deal here, big information. Exposed, FBI agents checked into Mandalay Bay Hotel two days before the Las Vegas shooting, giving it to you, bringing it to you, letting the truth be known. We're taking the world back.